Also hugely successful at the moment are Manchester band New Order with two singles in the charts. Mike has more to say about them. Yes, a couple of weeks ago I received a mysterious phone call in the middle of the night, supposedly from New Order, inviting me to meet them up north. So I did. And this is the result. Most bands seem to crave publicity and you've always seemed to shun publicity. Would you in any way agree that it could be a strategy in itself? If you went to a major record company and said, I've got this great new strategy, what we do is we don't do interviews, we don't advertise, we just put the records out and, you know, they just laugh at you. So how could it be a strategy? Unless, you know, unless you've got the music. A lot of commentators have described your music as being oppressive, doomy, uh, devoid of hope. I wouldn't say. Do, do you see it that way? Is that what you intended to be? I think they've got no sense of humour. <laughs> Do you find it ironic at all that because of the mainstream chart success, a lot of people who have only just discovered you will consider you to be a dance band or a disco band? Categorisation is something that happens afterwards and you don't sit down and think, right, we'll write a chart hit now or we'll write a disco song. Now. You just write what you feel like. Yeah. I mean, if that's got in the charts and disco people buy it, then maybe they'll disco. buy it. Disco people, yeah, there you go, categorisation. I don't know what a disco person is. The choice of Arthur Baker to produce Confusion has seemed to some people an unusual choice as he worked with people like New Edition and did Candy Girl. Why did you pick him? Well, he was the fattest bloke we could find. The reason we worked with him is because we liked what he was doing. Right. And that's why we didn't think, hey, he's a great guy who can make us loads of money. Yeah. How involved were you in the ideas, production and storyboard for the video for Confusion? Not that much on that particular occasion. See, after Blue Monday, which was like a hit all over Europe. We, we were sort of asked to do television programmes over there. And the only way that we could do it, because we don't mind, is to play live on, on the programmes. And I think if the same happened with Confusion, it would become boring. And the sounds are always bad when you play live, compared to people who are miming. So the, doing a video was a nice way of... Uh, Satisfying both our needs, really. It was a, a good experiment, if you like. Yeah, and it was interesting to do as well. Do you think there are any other people that have followed you very closely through Joy Division of New Order that will be disenchanted with the dance ability of your newer material? People who follow you when you're like a cult band, it always happens the same. As soon as you get success, you feel a bit cheated because everybody likes you. You, know, you get letters from people saying, I liked you when you were Joy Division, you know, as if you should single her out for some kind of uh, reward or something, you know. I don't know, maybe they feel cheated because you're successful, you know, it's like they've lost something. Because... But, I mean, we're not, we're not really here to represent the needs of our fans. We're here to write music, that's all. Music that we want to write, not to live up to somebody else's ideals. We don't want a dedicated, loyal, you know, we'll buy anything following. I want these people who... If they like the song, they'll buy it. If they don't like the song, they don't buy it. I mean, That's you, the only principle we've ever worked on. I mean, you can be successful without having media coverage. You know, we don't need to do interviews and you know, do photo sessions and things like that. Because, thank God, we're lucky in our own right. We're successful enough just by playing our music, which is what we want to do. Anyway. It's normal. Yeah. It seems really logical to me. Why did you agree to do this interview? Because you asked us. <laughs> of all wind bands.